Welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling fancy today, so I've got a bourbon espresso martini. Um, my recipe for espresso martinis has Kahlua, a spirit, in this case, replace the vodka with bourbon, and then espresso. You just mix it in a shaker and pour it in a glass. It's pretty good. All right, so I've been wanting to explore, try these nub cigars for months now since I got into cigars. There was just two hurdles that I was overcoming or trying to overcome. One is the price. These things MSRP on a three and three quarter by 58 nub Connecticut are $9. So when I was online, I found this new cigar website to try stuff, you know, to order stuff and try it. And I saw these, I saw nub Connecticut Three five eights. That's the measurement size on there. For five pack of them for twenty five bucks. So that's five dollars a cigar. Retailing at nine. It's a pretty good deal. I did not know they were going to show up and be like this. This is like for in a gas station or in a cigar store where you would display this and then people would buy it. Buy them like separate individual. Look, there's like instructions on how to display it. So, uh, I still think I got the right product here. We're going to find out in a second, but it's an interesting way to ship them. Um, I won't be reselling any of these, at least I don't think. I'm planning on just smoking them. So, uh, Nub is uh, an Oliva um, a product. They're made in Nicaragua at the factory with all the rest of the cigars that Oliva makes. So, this says that this is sealed for freshness. And I'm going to get this thing opened up, cut and lit, and we're going to try these things out. The second hurdle was if it's worth it for a cigar this size. So look, it comes in a cellophane inside that package. You see this is a pretty small stick here. So $5 for this still seems to me a little excessive, uh, but let's see what kind of flavors they offer. Supposedly, it has a wide open draw and delivers some good flavors, you know, nice creamy flavors here. So, all right, let's get it out of this cellophane. We got a double double wrapper, which makes me think this cigar is probably overly humidified, but we're gonna find out. It's already cut, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. It's got a cut on it. It looks pretty perfect. It looks like exactly how I like things to be cut. So that's kind of a bonus, I guess if you're on the go, you see these in a gas station, if you see these somewhere, you could just pick yourself up one of these pouches. Hopefully it's less than nine bucks. Uh, so that's some insight into the retail world as well. The person that maybe would put this in their, their store or whatever would buy them for five a piece and could sell them for maybe nine or 10, I don't know. All right, so no reason to cut it. Here's the cigar band, Nub Connecticut. What's that say? Oh, Nub Handmade. There we go. It smells like your typical Connecticut wrapper. Getting cedar, tobacco. I'm assuming we're gonna get some kind of a nut out of this. Maybe almonds or cashews. And then some, probably some pepper on the tongue. Back of the throat a little bit. So it's just my two hurdles, you know? The price and then is it is it even worth firing something like this up? So, cold draw. Just cedar and tobacco. There is that little hint, though, of some kind of nut. All right. Don't waste any more time. How's everybody doing today? What are we drinking? What are we smoking? Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys are up to. I love hearing from you. Seems lately my theme has been little cigars. I reviewed those Sweet Jane tin cigars. Uh, now I got a nub, so yeah.
Certainly the draw is wide open. And the nut just smacked me right in the face there. Getting like roasted, roasted al almonds and cashews. I'm literally getting both. Cedar, which is yummy. Pepper, a little bit, it's very mild. I hate to use that term white pepper instead of black pepper, but it's more on the, it's peppery, but not very strong at all. All right, so we lit this thing about five minutes into the video. Let's see how long this thing lasts us tonight. I'll try to take it easy on it and not kill it. Qualities there. It's got that nice stiff. Uh, that nice stiffness that we like. It's got a good cap on it. You can see it's at least a double cap. The retro is nice, just kind of delivers on everything that's already there. Um, smooth, doesn't burn. Yeah, the retro is enjoyable, which is important to me. I know there's several different types of nubs. I, I believe there's at least four more. Thought I'd start on the the light end, plus I've been really into Connecticut wrappers lately. So, figured what the heck. Let's go with it. And five bucks each. Like I said, I see these things for nine dollars. There was a point in time where I could have bought... I had like a mega pack of them. Like, it was like 40 of them. Uh, and it was like four different kinds, ten of each in this like mega box. And I think they were like three something each when you broke it out, the math out. It was too many for me to try, you know, to buy without ever trying them. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Um, so, so far so good. But I wanted to, wanted to buy one or five before I bought 40 of them. I like that it comes in this. Um, I, I don't know if I paid more because they came like this, you would assume, but $24.99 for, for five of them. And then it comes in the cellophane too. That's nice. It'll always be fresh. Um, I don't know that a cigar like this could be over humidified, um, you know, from the factory like that in the packaging. And because of how the gauge on it, how wide it is, it's, it's drawn perfect. You know, I've smoked six, seven inch cigars that are this wide plenty of times. So, you know, it's basically like half a cigar, uh, you know, something like that. I mean, I think in the right circumstances, you know, you pick one of these up, five bucks, and you don't have a lot of time, but you like you like a thicker gauge cigar. Sure, you know, and, and the quality is certainly there, and I knew it would be coming from Oliva. Um, you know, it's it's made in the same factory as as all of them are in Nicaragua. These actually come in four different sizes too. Um, so they got the, the three, it's like a three and three quarter or three, I think, I think it's three, three by 54. This one's three and three quarter by 58. They have a four by 60, which is probably interesting. You know, it's thicker and a little longer. And then they have a four by 64 torpedo size. I wonder if the torpedoes come pre-cut like this was. It's just really interesting. I never I never saw a premium cigar come pre-cut like that. 
And it couldn't be a fluke. I mean, I'd like to rip another one of them open right now. To, uh, you know what? Let's go up. Let's check it out. Let's just make sure that isn't some fluke. I mean, I could always add it to the description, but let's open one up. Let's open another one up, I should say. Let's see if it's cut. Yeah, this one's cut too. I can see it as soon as I opened it up. It was in the package like this. You can see it's cut. Factory cut like that. Yeah, and it's about the same opening as the other one was too. You know, it just has that little slither of cap off. You could cut it more if you like it cut even more, but I just, I like to just cut, nip the end of that cap off to start. Um, you know, it might be more, I don't want to say that use the word manly, but it might be more like aggressive and, and uh, gangster to just take a cutter and just whoosh, cut a cigar in one clip. But for me, I like this Perfecto cutter, as I mentioned 50 times. And I just like, I'll snip, snip, snip. You know, I've snipped torpedoes seven times until I got them the shape I want them. Now, unless it would mess the cigar up, which if it's humidified, it's not a crack, you know, an old crackly dry cigar. It should never mess the cigar up when you cut it with a sharp cutter. Shouldn't be any issues at all. So yeah. And this one, actually the leaf on this one's a little bit kind of not busted up, but it's got a couple cracks in a couple spots. I don't know if you can see it there. Nothing, nothing that'll do any damage. I'm, I'm depend on how long this one lasts. I might just smoke that one right away too. I don't know. Maybe I'll just smoke two of them. But it's very enjoyable, very light. I would say this is definitely, definitely mild to medium, but more on the mild end. I've been finding a lot of enjoyment lately in sitting my cigars down and letting them get to where they're not, not to where they're out or where they're like really close to out, but where they're not an inferno of burning, you know, where you just took three giant draws, drags off of it, like where it's almost just very relaxed. That first initial, uh, you know, pull off of it when it's a, a calm cigar, that's what I'd like to call it, a calm cigar. When it's calm like that, it's, it's very enjoyable. You get flavors that are different than when you have this thing in an inferno down here, when it's a glowing red, you know, ball of fire. Yeah. I mean, I'm into Connecticut's. This is definitely, definitely worth it. For this price you know we're coming up on a 10 on 10 minutes of smoke i'm only an inch in on that so i mean my guess would be if you smoke it slower on the slower side um but i'm thinking you're gonna get 40 minutes out of that little that little nub you know how do you guys feel about stuff like this about cocktails do you you ever drink them Sometimes it's nice to have a little sugar when you're smoking a cigar. You know, this has Kahlua in it. So the way I mix them up, uh, you know, a double shot of bourbon, a double shot of espresso, and then a half, of sh and then a single shot, sorry, of Kahlua. So not as much, not a third, no, not one third each, but there's still some sugar in here. And it does tend to calm your stomach down or keep it calm, you know, just because it's not worked up, doesn't mean it couldn't get that way. Now, this is a mild cigar, so probably not gonna have any issues. But if it was a Maduro or, you know, even a Sun Grown, and, and as I've said, some of these are, you know, they'll, they'll shock you. I have a couple Connecticut's that had a lot of pepper on them. Yeah, that martini's good. You really taste the bourbon in there. Yeah, that initial pull. You know, maybe it's because you had a break from the cigar as well. You know, you step away from it for two minutes, a minute. You know, maybe it's just that good. You you know, your body's like, oh, there it is again. Um, maybe it's that you had a drink of whiskey or whatever you like to drink, Diet Coke in between there. Uh, you know, but that, that little pull 
when you first pick it back up. It's starting to get me to smoke a little slower, which might be good for me because I'm smoking cigars that take people an hour and a half. I'm smoking them in 45 minutes. You notice that at a cigar lounge, you go out to a cigar lounge and, you know, not that you're being watched, you know, but everybody kind of looks at everybody, keeps an eye on everybody. You know, not, not even because you're worried about them or something, but because you're just kind of curious. You want to see what they're smoking, what they're drinking, how they smoke, how they drink, you know. Um, so I've seen, you know, guys looking at me. And then eventually, you, you know, you start talking to them, you get a conversation going, and they're like, you, you're a fast smoker. Like, you smoke that cigar, half that cigar in, you know, 25 minutes. And you're holding a, a 6 by 60 Cuban stock or something, you know, in your mouth. People have commented on these videos, too, and said the same thing. They're like, slow down. You're not enjoying it. Well, I am. I am still enjoying them, even when they're, when I'm smoking them fast. Uh, like I always say, you know, if you like a Slurpee from 7-Eleven with your cigar, you know, knock yourself out. If you drink, you know, $2,500 a shot cognac with your, you know, uh, your Crown's Cream cigar from your local gas station, that's up to you. Smoke and drink however you want. That's what makes it so much fun when you uh, you hear from people or you talk to people. You know, that's why I always say, what are you smoking, what are you drinking? Because I always like to know. Maybe you like Kool-Aid with your cigars. It's up to you, you know. Hey, Kool-Aid has sugar in it. Most of it, I'm sure, so it could be a good thing. I love sugar. Um... Sugar and I are just not friends. So I slowed down on the sugar quite a bit recently and dropped a couple pounds and it'll fall off you quick. Well, <coughs> I also don't drink beer. I used to love beer. Um, that's another way to drop a couple pounds pretty quick, no beer. Stopping drinking beer is what got me into getting... Uh, stopping drinking beer is what got me into drinking bourbon and whiskeys. And bourbons and whiskeys, you know, whiskey is what got me into cigars. So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to. Maybe it's two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. However that you want to look at that. This thing is so enjoyable. It really, I don't know, I don't know though. $9 enjoyable. Not sure. Just not sure on the $9 enjoyable thing. $5 enjoyable? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me know if you've seen those in the wild. You know, if you've seen these packs in the wild. I'd love to know if you see them. I've never seen them. I told you guys when I was smoking Cohibas on here, made some videos exploring those, that I've seen the Cohibas in the wild at chain gas stations. I've seen them. Um, you know, I've seen the blue, and I, there was, and I, I didn't mention this before. Um, there's, it's another premium cigar brand. It's like the. Um, Man, Man, Mancudo or Mancanudo or something. I think it was a Dominican stick. Uh, anybody that smokes those is just yelling at me right now, going, "It's not, it's not how you say it." I'm probably saying it wrong, but they had, they had, you know, at least robusto sizes, at least a five by fifty 
of those two I've seen in a while, but I've never seen the nubs. Um, I've got some other stuff coming up that's interesting as well. I made a cigar video, an exploration video on my first box of cigars I bought. Well, I got another box with this order that I placed, so I'm gonna explore that second box. I've got more new stuff that I haven't, I've never smoked before. So lots, lots more content coming. I don't, I don't want to sound, um, I guess rude or whatever. I, I don't actually care as too much about the subscription situation on YouTube. I have like 300 subscribers. I just think you should subscribe so you don't miss the video. That's the only reason for me. I, again, it's not a monetary thing. I don't make money off my channel. It's not even something I'm interested in. I just like to make these videos when I'm exploring cigars and uh, I hope people enjoy them. So. Yep, so then we got our standard ash here. Great ash. I mean, these are premium cigars, so I was never worried. The cut, the cut is shocking. I'm not gonna lie. The cut, the, they were cut in there. That surprises me. But I mean, the, you know, you could you could grab a pack of these and a pack of matches, and you're you're set. You know, you're you're smoking a premium cigar. Uh, you don't need a cutter. You don't need a fancy lighter. You don't need a torch lighter. You know, I've lit tons of stuff on this channel with Bic lighters and matches and, you know. Yeah. Yeah, roasted, roasted cashews and almonds, cedar, and like, I, I hate to say this, use this term, because I think it's, I know it exists, there is white pepper, you can buy it at the grocery store or wherever you buy your spices, it's a thing, um, it's not as strong as black pepper, and when you put it into recipes and dishes that you're cooking, you can't see it then, it's like salt. You can't see, you know, maybe you don't want specks of black stuff on your, whatever you're cooking. This is probably getting pretty fancy. You know, I'm sure there's some fancy restaurants that use a lot of white pepper. I don't have any white pepper in my house. I have black pepper, but that's it. Anyway, uh, but you're getting, you're getting pepper, but it's so mild and enjoyable. I mean, I could, I could say mild black pepper, but yeah. Really enjoyable. The retro is just great. I'm gonna ash this, even though I don't. I don't think you would need to. You could probably smoke this whole cigar uh, without ashing it. The ash is so tight on here. I mean, it's not coming off without ashing it, without forcing it to, basically. But. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. That a little bit of sugar's nice. I'm not gonna lie. Um and again, not that you need it with this style of, of cigar, but uh, I'm not I'm not kicking that sugar out of bed. It's pretty good. The cigar choked me up twice so far. I don't usually get choked up. <clears throat> yeah, this thing's good. I'm going to keep this video going. Anybody that's here, maybe you're here, hopefully you're enjoying yourself, but also just to find out how long this thing takes to smoke. I didn't ash it like I said I was gonna. Uh, we'll smoke it to the band and then we'll ash it. Cigar has about 20 minutes on it right now. It's 
so probably probably 30 30 minutes average I'd say because I'm talking a lot Yeah, it's just it's just delivering everything you want from from it. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this at all, except for the size. And you can't complain about that because you knew it was going to be this size. I mean, that's the only thing I would say, oh, it's too it's too small. I want more. Well, don't, you know, pick a bigger cigar. Save this for when you have 30 or 40 minutes. I should say when you only have 30 or 40 minutes. All right. Let's ash this and take the cigar band off. It's such a nice ash. It doesn't even want to come off. <clears throat> Pops right off. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I really taste that bourbon in there. That's good. Nice sweetness. There's that calm cigar. gives you the sweetest, creamiest, nuttiest cedar and pepper, a little spice on there. It's, mm. Mm hmm Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a tough sell at $9 because for $9, you can get a Lot 23 from Perdomo. Uh, I'm taking that Lot 23 over this for, for $9. But at $5, I'll keep one of these in my cigar tool belt. Absolutely. This could come in handy many different ways for me. So yummy. That retro is great. <clears throat> you guys know of any other cigars that are like this that are built specifically to be smaller length cigars? Um, I know on my channel I smoked a Quorum. That was a 3.5 by 50 Robusto. This one's even bigger than that. This was a three and three quarters by 58. So. Now the quorum was almost a third of what this one was price wise. It was like a dollar 70, a dollar 80. But if I'm not line which I, I don't ever do this this cigar delivers much better flavors and 
I don't know a better smoking experience, but it's definitely got more to offer for sure. You can tell that everything in this is premium. The fillers are definitely, definitely very carefully selected. Bunched and rolled, I mean, like I said, Oliva is one of those just household names in cigars, you know, and then the nub, it's just another, another, uh, you know, offering from them that, you know, I think, I think was all the rage when it first came out. And like a lot of these cigars, a lot of these premium cigars, as the years go by, you can get them for a lot better prices, which makes sense. You know, when, when something comes out, you know, it's always more expensive when it's new. So... I've gotten some really great stuff at some really great prices on this channel, and I'm going to continue to do that, I hope. <clears throat> Whoa. All right. Another little bit of this uh, bourbon espresso martini. Get this stick finished up. <clears throat> this is in a, a Mikasa martini glass. I don't know if this stuff's fancy. A lot of this stuff I get as gifts um at some point i must have been into martinis or somebody thought i was because this was these were a gift it's like a set of them like a set of four glasses they all have a different design on them <clears throat> yeah yeah that's really sweet really good i don't drink those very often so all right If I calm draw, I'm going to keep saying it. Try it. You probably already do it. If you smoke cigars, you're probably already doing it. getting spicier now getting hot <clears throat> you know and I'd say we're, we're into the last third of this but um, I just wonder you know how much of this am I gonna get get through here coming up on the 30 minute mark 29 minutes in into this stick. Getting hot, getting hot on the lips. A lot more spice now on the tongue, too. A lot more of that pepper. That pepper's turning from white to black. Getting a little harder to smoke it. Yeah, I'd say for me, if I'm alone, I'm not talking to you guys, 30 minutes. 30 minutes on this nub. I think if you're a little on the slower side, you could probably get 40 minutes out. And if you're willing to use a tool uh, or burn your your lips and fingers you know you could eke 40 45 minutes out of this thing for me i'm almost done 
I just don't think it would be the type of cigar that would be worth burning any part of my body for. You, you, uh, you do you, though, like I've always said. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, a 30-minute smoke on a premium cigar for 5 bucks. Definitely recommend. Definitely worth it. Try a couple of these nubs in the future. Certainly, I would try the Maduro, no doubt. Yeah, it's getting too hot for me. <clears throat> All right. As usual, take care of yourselves and each other. Yeah, baby, this thing's warm. And I will see you guys in the next one.